building up the double power supply and the only thing that I want to tell in this regard is uh, how you can make a very simple shortcut protection and I've done that two times or three times with automotive lamps and these are two 20 watt uh, automotive lamps 12 volts of course there's always a relation to the transformers that you use anyway um, what's the good thing of this kind of uh, shortcut protection when the filament of an um, incandescent lamp is cold the resistance is low but when the lamp starts to light up the resistance goes up so there's a kind of temperature effect that we can use so let me show it now so now I'm short cutting here at the front the power supply and the lamp start to light up of course do some experiments at first uh, this solution uh, is say adapted to a situation where we have a transformer now of say 18 volts at 1 ampere and such a transformer can always endure for a shorter time a somewhat higher current um, and of course this is not an endless in this case by the way not, an, not a way to give a power supply endless um, uh, shortcut protection but say surely for five minutes or so and when you do experiments it's absolutely necessary that your uh, power supply is shortcut protected so more about the double power supply the transformers are now connected properly in phase there are two very big um, bridge rectifiers i first tried to give it a shortcut protection with a resistor that didn't work because it got far too hot and also you don't have that good effect so that the uh, resistance uh, changes when there is a higher current flowing as a normal resistance the resistor does not have that effect anyway thanks for watching still going strong burnt out already two transistors that's normal when you do experiments of this kind anyway thanks for watching